For a long time now, my middle schoolers have requested that I make a comprehensive video where I go over the advanced techniques that my classes use in Tinkercad. Today we're actually going to create a birdhouse and explore these techniques through the creation of that birdhouse. Once we get our plate, our work plane in front of us, we're actually going to use the ruler tool. So we're going to click over here on the ruler tool, we're going to drag it here. This allows us to be much more precise when creating 3D designs. And to get started, we're going to create a box. So click, drag, move the box. I can see that the ruler tool gives me a much more in-depth look at the dimensions of my box. And so we're going to click on the length of the box. We're going to set it to 80. Once we set the length of the box to 80, we're going to click on the width of the box and set that to 50. And then we're going to click on the height of the box and we're going to set that to 40. And once we have that set, we're going to drag this to around the center of the work plane. I think I'm going to change the color though. I'm going to go to a blue color there. All right, so the next thing we need is a roof for our birdhouse. And so to do that, we're just going to go over and click on the roof and we're going to drag it over. Now, to make things easy, um, we're going to use Tinkercad's notes feature so that uh, we can actually go back to what the dimensions are um, of our box and of the shapes that we use here. So we're going to click and put a note here. We're going to say box, we're going to say length 80, width 50, and height 40 for our triangle. Now we're going to start with the length, we're going to click put 80. And then we're going to click on the width, which is right here, and do 50. And you'll notice that these uh, shapes are not aligned, but luckily Tinkercad actually makes this really easy with the alignment tool. So with the roof selected, we're gonna hold shift and click on the box so that both objects are selected. You can also use control A as well if uh, you're wanting to select every object on your work plane. Once that's selected, you're gonna go to your alignment tool and we're gonna click the center button to make them even. Then we're going to turn our view and we're now going to click the center button lengthwise and now both objects are even. But we're going to want the roof to be a bit steeper than that since it's a birdhouse. So we're going to click away, click on our roof, click the top white rectangle button, and you know what, we'll move it to about 20. I think that looks great. And I'm going to change the color, you know what, we'll change the color to red. We're going to match my alma mater. All right. So I'm going to do control A really quickly and then I am going to group my objects. And you'll notice that the color is now all one color, but if you click solid, you can click multicolor to preserve the colors of the objects before you merge them. We're now going to shell our object. What that does is it makes your objects hollow. So the first thing we're going to do is click on our object and we're going to click control D. This is the duplicate tool and we're going to do this twice. All right, perfect. And we're gonna make one of these a hole. Now to do this, we'll click on the object to the right and we're just gonna click hole. This will allow us to hollow out our main birdhouse. Now, we're gonna need it a little smaller so we don't erase the entire birdhouse. So to do this, I'm gonna hold the shift button I'm going to click on the top white rectangle of our hole and drag it down. You'll notice that this resizes the birdhouse proportionally. So you don't have to resize every single side of your birdhouse. So the next thing we're going to do once we have the hole is we're going to drag it so that it is about right in the center of our object. Now I always like to drag the holes out so that it gets through both sides and I'm going to use the black arrow here to lift it up so that there is still a floor to that birdhouse. Now I'm going to hold shift and select both objects. I'm going to use the alignment tool again and make sure that the hole is centered. It is. 
And once it is, I'm going to click and drag to select both objects and click group. Now I have a hollowed out birdhouse. All right, so now we got to rebuild walls to this birdhouse. And luckily, that is why we kept this other birdhouse right here. Now we're going to click on the length that we had set to 80. We're going to set this to 3 because we just want a wall. Now we want walls on both sides, so we're going to click Control D again to duplicate. And once we duplicate it, we're going to move the walls to each side. Now we're going to use the alignment tool again to make sure that these are aligned. So I'm going to click on the back wall, click on the birdhouse, and then the alignment tool that will center them. Once they are centered, I'm going to change my view and click on this back right button and now they are even. All right, once they're even, I'm gonna select just that back wall in the birdhouse, and I'm going to group those together. And now I'm gonna do the same process on the other side. I am now going to create a perch as well as a, uh, a hole so that the birds can actually go inside and live inside the birdhouse. I'm going to start by creating a cylinder tool. I'm going to move it up just a little bit. I'm going to hold shift, click on a white rectangle, and I'm going to resize. It'll resize proportionally. I'm going to then let go of shift, click the top white rectangle, and move it so there's enough room for the birds to sit down. I'm then going to change my view. I'm going to click this directional arrow here, move it to 90 degrees. I can either type in 90 degrees at the top there where you see the angle or manually drag it. I'm going to move the perch down, and then I will drag that perch so it's in the birdhouse and we can make it even again later right now we need to create the hole and how we're going to do that is we're actually going to copy the perch so we're going to click control D we're going to drag this up and once we drag it up we'll click away we'll zoom in I'm going to hold shift and then increase the size proportionally. And I want to make the hole a little bigger so the birds can actually fit into the birdhouse. All right, and then what I'm gonna do is change the object to a hole. I'm gonna change the, this color to kind of a golden yellow to match my alma mater. And then I'm gonna click Control A and group them together. So what we're going to do is we're going to use one of my favorite features. We're going to go to a shape generator and we're actually going to create a screw so that we can actually open and close the back of it to clean the birdhouse if we needed to. So we're going to go to a shape generator. Uh, it's called an ISO metric thread. We're going to place the shape on the work plane. We're going to tilt it 90 degrees. We're going to adjust our view. Tilt this 90 degrees and we're gonna move it. And you know what, we really need to resize this to make it so that we could actually clean the birdhouse. And so we're gonna hold shift, we're gonna resize. That's about the size that I want, I think. So once we have this, we're going to adjust the rotations to two. You see the menu right here. Remember, the walls are only three millimeters, so we need to be able to create a screw that is just a little bigger. So we're going to adjust the length here to six millimeters. All right, and once we have it set at six, we are going to make sure that the screw, we have to lift it so it's not on the ground. That looks good right there. We're going to make sure these two objects are aligned, so we're going to click on these two objects. We're going to make sure 
that they are aligned. And then what we're gonna do is create a copy of the screw because we first have to drill a hole inside the birdhouse and then we actually need a screw so that we could um, open and close it if we're needing to clean the birdhouse. So we're going to do control D to duplicate. We're going to dra drag the duplicate out here. We're going to click on the screw that's still inside the birdhouse and make it a hole. And then we're going to select both objects and group them. And so now you have a hole as well as a screw that should just go in perfectly. But you would need something to, uh, if you were 3D printing this, you would want to actually have the screw down on the ground, but we also need a way to open and close it. So I'm gonna drag it right here. I'm gonna put it 90 degrees so that it will lay flat on the ground. I'm gonna click that black arrow. And then what we're going to do is create an indention um, that would allow us to then use a screwdriver to open and close. So I'm gonna use a cylinder, drag it, so that's a very narrow cylinder. I'm going to click the arrow, 90 degrees. I'm going to use the arrow to drag the cylinder inside of the, of the screw. I'm going to align them and once they are aligned, I'm going to hold shift, select them both, group them, and now there would be a way for us to put a screwdriver in there, a flathead screwdriver. And you know what, I'll also make this a different color too, just so you can easily see it. Perfect. All right, so the last thing is we need a hook. So we're gonna go to shape generators. We're gonna go to the bent pipe, actually. Once we have the bent pipe, we're gonna hold shift, we're going to drag it down. Then I'm going to turn it up to 90 degrees. Align it. I'm going to click and drag it. And I'm going to move it up. Now you might notice you want more of a curve in order for it to hook onto things. And so you can actually adjust the bend angle. I'm going to make the angle close like this. Then at this point, we're going to adjust our view just so we can close that hook so that a bird or a strong gust of wind couldn't knock it out of the tree. And growing up in Kansas, that was always a major consideration. So what we're going to do is kind of zoom in on that hook and then we're going to drag it in so that both sides are completely submerged into that birdhouse. I'm gonna do that just a little more. Make sure it's aligned, it is. That looks about perfect. At this point, I'm going to click on the hook and I'm going to have it match the color of the birdhouse. That's perfect. So then the last thing I'm going to do is I kind of like to do a 3D print check to make sure my objects are placed in the most ideal way to 3D print. So I'm actually going to click on this screw right here. I'm going to click on this mirror button over here. This lets me horizontally or vertically flip my objects. If I click the vertical arrow, it will automatically flip it for me. I actually think I would prefer to have the indentation facing up. And after that, we are done. So you can look at your design. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to let me know. It's been so much fun learning Tinkercad. I've learned so much of what I know actually from my sixth, seventh and eighth grade students. And hopefully this video helps pay it forward. And thank you so much for your time today. Great work. I'll see you around.